Today we're going to look at the DAX divide function and because it's DAX that means it works in both Power Pivot in Excel and it also works in Power BI. So don't forget that even though I'm just looking at this here in Power Pivot, you can also use this function in Power BI. Now divide, as we all know, is a normal mathematical operation. You have a nominator and you have a denominator. And when you're dividing in DAX, you're dividing one column by another column instead of in it with Excel, one cell by another cell. So let me show you what I mean about the mathematical operation of divide in DAX and the divide function that's available in DAX and why you should use the divide function that's available in DAX. So we have a quick table of data here, a short table of data. It has a date, the invoice number, the product ID, the units, the total sales price, and the total cost price. And what we want to do is we want to calculate the gross profit. So first of all, we need to get the profit. So in Power Pivot, we will add a new column, and you can do the exact same in Power BI. So we are going to take our total sales price and we're going to take away our total cost price. And that then will calculate in the column our actual gross profit. Now, and in Power Pivot to rename, if you just right click and you can rename the column, we'll call this profit. If you are using Power BI, you will need to go to the transform and you can rename the column from within there. Now we're going to do a divide and we're going to do it as a normal mathematical operation. So our divide is going to be, to get our gross profit, is going to be our profit divided by, with the normal mathematical operator, our total sales price. And we can see here now we have our gross profit calculated for us. Now I'm just going to rename this to gross profit percentage. And then I am also going to change it to percentage. Now we can see from this calculation that there are some problems. We have this infinity symbol down here because we have a total sales price here and we have a total cost price. So we have a minus profit with zero sales and you can't divide by the zero. So you have this infinity symbol here when you use the normal mathematical operator in DAX. So how can you avoid this? Now, if you have nulls, the same thing would happen. And when you're running in Power BI, you will only see a subset of your data. And you don't know if there are nulls further down or if there are zeros further down. So I would recommend that you use the divide function. So let's have a look at the divide function. We'll add another column and we'll start by selecting divide. And this first is looking for the numerator, then it's looking for the de denominator, and then it's looking for an alternative result. So let me explain. First, it's looking for the numerator. So this is going to be our profit. Then it's looking for our denominator, which is going to be our total sales. Now, the alternative result, we're going to leave blank for the moment because you don't have to use it. And we'll just select enter there. And we'll see now what has happened is, I will change this to percentage. We can see we don't have this infinity symbol here. So it's not going to create errors for us in our DAX calculation, either here in Power Pivot or in Power BI. Now we can replace this blank with something. So if we go back into our formula here, and this time we have alternative result. And for an alternative result, let's say we want to put in zero. So we can put zero in place of the alternative as the alternative result. And see now we have zero percent has been pulled in there instead of an infinite, which will cause errors in further calculations or even in your visualizations. So my advice, always use the DAX divide function when you're working in Power Pivot and Power BI instead of the normal divide mathematical operator. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you will give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the website when you get a chance. Hi, my name is Paula and thanks for watching. Here at the Excel Club, I offer online Excel and Power BI courses for all levels. 
we have free courses to get you started and premium courses on more advanced and specialised Excel and Power BI training. You can access these courses on the website and from our apps and there's links below the video so please do explore them. We also offer a custom Power BI and Excel solutions so if you want to create custom financial models or a Power BI dashboard then I can help you. You can find contact details also on the website. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll take the time now to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't be shy. Feel free to comment below and say hi. See you next time. Bye now.